Hello YouTube and hello car collectors around. Hot Corner here. Long time no talk guys. Um, hopefully you're all doing well. Uh, I just wanted to show a whole bunch of uh, pickups I've gotten throughout the last month or so. Uh, and a nice beautiful care package from my buddy Lou Rock. Uh, Lou Rock, I got your care package. Um, a lot of random Sandbergs I did not have. Thank you so much. Uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed going through it, through them because I haven't gotten much care packages lately just because what's going on in this world, I guess. Uh, but anyways, uh, this one card out of the whole thing was my favorite by far. But your awesome one-of-a-kind uh, card of you and your daughter. I thought that was great, man. I, I love it. Uh, I will be putting that uh, next to my uh, Ticket Leprechaun card I have of Jake. Uh, so that'll be really cool. I have a little section in the card room that, ha that holds... Uh, special little gifts that have been given to me from other YouTube car community people. Uh, so thank you so much again. Uh, I do have a care package coming your way, Lou Rock. Uh, there's two things inside of that package for your mini me, Bob. So let her open those. I'm sure she'll love them. All right, let's get started. Uh, this last card on this stack right here is absolutely awesome. I think you guys will thoroughly enjoy it. Although anyone who collects will appreciate that one, I would think. Uh, so if you don't want to wait, zoom, at least fast forward to the last card. Uh, okay, so here we go. I did pick up a autograph Ron Harper. Uh, I collect a lot of the bulls from the time period where Jordan was playing. And Ron Harper does not have a lot of cards with him autographed in the bulls outfit. A lot of his college cards, like uh, Immaculate Collection, I think has a couple of his college pictures with his autograph. But I finally found one with him in the Bulls, which was really exciting. I didn't have one of that. I've been searching that for a couple of months to almost a year now. Um, I almost came to the point I didn't think they had one of Ron Harper in a Bulls outfit on a card, but they do. Um, next card, a uh, very underrated guy. Uh, one of my favorite from that time period of the Jordan era is Clyde Drexler. A nice autograph with his uh, jersey number written on it. That was really cool. This is a uh, uh, all-time fan favorites autograph and it is from 19 or 2005 okay. beautiful card love how it's in that older uh, uh design card almost like the baseball cards i don't know what not, what year this is but uh, i think it was baseball's 1990 uh design but i could be wrong uh next one i did pick up uh one box of tops allen and genter chrome uh very beautiful cards I uh, did qu pull a, quite a few nice looking stuff. A lot of refractors. Uh, one card that stood out, uh, Lou Ruck, I think you'll like this one. Uh, but this one is numbered out of 99 green of Roberto Clemente. That is so pretty. I love the green shine. Beautiful box uh, cards. Uh, that box is actually a really reasonably good price too. So uh, that's also why I purchased it. Everything else is kind of insanely expensive hobby and jumbo box wise lately. All right, so I did pick up some random uh, uh, vintage cards as well. Uh, just cards I felt like I needed uh, as, a, as a collector and a hobbyist, if you want to say so. Uh, but a very nice 1963 Ernie Banks. Very beautiful card. Uh, I did buy this at my local card store that I always go to. Uh, I, it was just so clean, I almost thought it was fake. That's why I was, I was kind of worried about purchasing this card, um, uh, but it's extremely good centering. Hopefully it hasn't been cut. I know sometimes people cut the cards and make them look more sharp than normal, but I looked at it and I don't see anything that shows signs of it, but I'm not an expert. But anyways, I will never probably get this graded, so we will never know, uh, but a beautiful looking card of Ernie Banks. Uh, next one I picked up at the new card store I stopped at. Uh, this is a 1970 Ernie Banks. Now, the 1970s, I've noticed, have a lot of bad centering issues. All the cards are really off-centered. Um, so what caught my eye on this one is that it's a little off-centered, but it's still so clean. The corners are nice and sharp. Um, and I just figured it can't go wrong with a nice-looking Ernie Banks from 1960. Uh, so I picked that one up. Beautiful add-on. I do have the 1961 Ernie Banks. I've had that for since I was, like, 12. So I'll be putting that with these other two and uh, hopefully keep... Uh, accumulating more Ernie Banks from the vintage era. Uh, nice iconic card in the hobby, I would say. Uh, just a card that everyone who collects probably should have someday in their life. But a 1976 rookie of Dennis Eckersley. I love that card. You know, it's uh, just a card I've always kind of eyed. 
you know, never been willing to spend money on it. Uh, but I finally saw one and I'm like, why not? You know, you're not gonna really have them and you're, you don't have one. And it was pretty good. It's a little off center, but uh, very nice and sharp corners and great add on. Uh, now next card, we're down to three cards left. And this last card, this last card guys, oh my gosh. I am PSAing it by the way. Uh, but uh, third to last card, I did pick up my first 1965 Yankees Roger Maris. Very clean card, too. Very clean. Uh, I am not getting this PSA. As you guys know, I've kind of been collecting vintage lately, uh, but I, I've been doing a lot of random single cards because I just, that's the only thing I can really afford, honestly. Uh, the back's a little faded, but, you know, being that old, what, 1965, you know, the, the, car, the front is so centered beautifully and. You know, it's my first Roger Maris. I thought it was a beautiful add-on. All right, last two guys. This this la uh, second to last one. Uh, I've been hunting an autograph of this guy for a few years, and decided to finally throw a offer at a seller on eBay, uh, knowing that I was probably going to get a deny, uh, decline, or no way, Jose. Here's a here's my comeback price. But no, I threw a, a pretty low offer, and the guy immediately said sold, and I paid for it. And I'm thinking this is almost too easy. I was kind of concerned that it might be fraudulent in some way, but no, it arrived and I, I just couldn't believe it. I, I got this card for under a hundred dollars and it's definitely well worth it. But my first and probably only Panini Flawless five of 25 autograph with the seal still on the one touch of George Brett. That is awesome. Now I've seen a lot of his cards uh, licensed by Tops, and his autographs are really kind of all over the place or they're not clean like I like. Uh, it looks like flawless, I've just been eyeing them. I didn't really want a side card. I kind of wanted one that was like that because it, it doesn't take as much space in my display case. But you know, anyways, it's still, I'm still very proud of this card. That's a great signature, very clean. Uh, not breaking the seal, so just will stay like this. George Brett. All right, guys. Last last card. I wish I wish I had a drum roll of some sort, but uh, you know I, I decided to finally invest in a card that I felt would be a good investment to maybe save for you know someone else in my family when I'm gone. Uh, but I did finally pick up a one of one tops 2020 from series two this year auto of Satchel Page. That is absolutely amazing. I, I never even eyed a Satchel Page Auto, but I know as a hobbyist like I am, to have one of these in the PC is amazing. You know, he, he's he, he played way back in the day, but I'll, if you're an avid collector in this world, collecting cards, uh, you, you know Satchel Page. Now, you know, honestly, the only other thing that I would probably want other than this that would stand out would be like a Ty Cobb or a Babe Ruth or... Uh, uh, you know, a, um, a Joe DiMaggio, you know, autograph, but a satchel page. And I wasn't sure if you guys knew, it looks like he's the thing he wrote out his autograph on. It's like half silk. I don't know if it was like a special invitation, but there's literally like, I think that's him standing on a, a pink silk picture right here. So on a, some sort of post-it note, but it may be, if any of you guys know, uh, I did read the back and it, it doesn't really explain where it came from. Uh, I think he's the, but uh, it just called a vintage cut, cut signature, but it was a great addition. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will be in this PSA. Uh, hopefully, I think it might hit a nine PSA. Uh, I just noticed that one of the corners is having a minor scut. I think it's that one right there. But I still want to encase it, and that red header of the PSA will look really nice with this red card. All right, guys. I hope you like that great pickup, Lou Rock. Thank you again, uh, Bob Mini Me. Uh, Lou Rock's daughter. Thank you uh, for bringing, sending me that care package. I hope you enjoy what I sent you guys and everyone else. Happy holidays. Hope you're having a great life with your, with your family. Um, I hope you guys are still collecting nonstop. And until next time, time guys, collect, collect, collect.